Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of, dun, 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 dun. I just did air signs and I think I'm going to do the, well, water, here you are, king of cups, commitment. King of cups keeps coming up non-stop. Someone may want to reconnect with a water sign. Specifically, it feels like It feels like a Scorpio with Pisces in their chart, if I had to guess. So this is going to be a Scorpio reading. It's such a Scorpio energy to sneak up like that, isn't it? Look at that. King of Pentacles, generosity, man holding a coin. He's definitely offering commitment. It's an offer and it's very lucrative. This would be, it would be a very long-term commitment he would offer you. If you're talking about this as a job, it would be a very lucrative long-term offer. This is something that's extremely solid and it would have a long-term commitment to it, not just commitment, hit it and quit it. It would be very long-term. And if this is one person that has King of Pentacles energy with the King of Cups, they would be a catch because they would be someone who is looking for the long-term. They want solid. They also are good with their coins. Holy shit, the Ten of Cups. It's emotional bliss. It's happily ever after. Fairy tale. Someone wants to share their life with you, whether you're the Scorpio or the Cross Watcher. So this would be Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, and then the Cross Watcher. Someone wants to share their life and their coins, apparently. You have the Devil. This could be Capricorn. In this deck, the Devil is Angel of Freedom. Someone here is no longer restricted as the devil energy is about restrictions, right? So someone here is freeing themselves from restriction. Four of Cups, indifference. Something that may have kept them trapped or stuck, whether this was a karmic relationship that somebody was getting out of or was in, whether this is a job that no longer served them or a way of thinking. Something kept them off path to this Ten of Cups. You see what I'm saying? Now... This energy feels like Nine of Cups blessings. Wow, they prayed for it. Wished for it, they prayed for it. Nine of Cups is blessings in this deck. Two of Pentacles juggling. It's like this person is overthinking how they're going to approach. How are they going to offer this? How, I, they don't know how to offer it. Three of Swords are afraid of getting rejected. <gasps> they're afraid you're going to reject them. It's like they're looking for a nudge. It's like they're looking for some kind of encouragement for them to shoot their shot or something. It's like, I don't know why they feel like they have to, well, I mean, obviously, if they're approaching a bad bitch, they would have to approach, approach with caution if they're, you know, coming up on an empress or somebody, honey, especially if she's in queen of swords mode. But they know they gotta, they gotta approach correctly. The high priestess, the angel of power, highly intuitive, someone's very spiritual. You also have the star, the angel of hope. This is Aquarius. Some of you are dealing with the Aquarius. Or you are the Aqua. Angel of hope. It's someone, it's a wish. Someone wished for something. The four of swords healing. And then the strength card, angel of courage, Leo. You know, these are two cards back to back for healing because the star card is also about healing. Maybe because someone healed from this heartache from past, they know they've got to approach correctly, even for themselves. It's not even like, oh, because the other person got their heart broken. They got their heart broken too. So they're going to proceed with caution. They're not going to go do nothing stupid either. Holy shit, the chariot, the angel of guidance, it's coming. The chariot follows the north star home. How many times have you heard me say that in the past two years? Uh -huh, you cannot make this shit up. You can't make it up. The chariot follows the north star home. They're coming home. They find home in someone else. Sorry, that's a strength card. It's insane. 
It's also the healing that brings them home too. Helps them be aligned, right? The hermit, Jesus Christ, the angel of reflection. Someone was single, they went within, they healed, they learned, they searched for answers. They may have gone through some kind of an awakening. Now they're coming out. As I said, it felt very Scorpio energy for it to just come out of left field. Something comes out. Something comes out of left field. Seven of Swords theft. They're afraid someone's going to snatch it up. Holy shit! They're afraid that you're going to. It's the offer is going to be snatched up. The cup, the Holy Grail. They're afraid the Holy Grail will be snatched up. Look at that. Counterparts, Queen of Pentacles, comfort. They are afraid. <laughs> Look, they come in all dramatically too. This is Sparta. They come in really dramatically because they're afraid that they're, this of what they have just found or encountered or whatever it is, is going to be taken. It's going to be stolen. It'll be ripped out of their hands. It's definitely something that was manifested with the magician, Angel of Magic. Oh my God, see, this is that aggressive energy. It's mine, give it to me. It's also wealth. Someone here is big dick energy, meaning they're very aggressive. Very Kang dang -a -lang, as I like to call them. They're very, they're a leader, emperor-like. This is pregnancy with the stork, new beginnings, changes, newness. There's something new that comes. I feel like it's super unexpected too. This person could approach you and you'd just be all like, what the hell, like out of the damn blue or something. Um, it's a new opportunity or something that comes out of the blue but it's but there's a possession here someone feels like they have to come and get it because they're afraid someone's gonna steal it better put a ring on it because someone else do boo right the tree spiritual growth something about somebody here with the spiritual growth thing with the hermit it was all about awakening and we don't only go through one awakening. I, the first one's usually the big bang, as I like to call it. We go through a hell of a lot. We go through many. We're always awakening and further developing and growing spiritually and emotionally. Never going to get to that place where we're just fully awakened. That just does not happen. The clouds. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. This shit no longer keeps them stuck. Somebody here was stuck to something with, again, we talked about that earlier. They were stuck to something that kept them stagnant. They're no longer stuck to it. They're no longer attached. With the spiritual growth, they've realized that they're trapped in this job or relationship. But it only came with spiritual growth. The more someone awakens, the more they realize what they want, what they need, and what they deserve. You have the letter. It's communication. Comes super out of left field, too. They want to commit to you. King of Cups, remember? They want to commit to you. They want you to be theirs. They want you to not be they don't want you to be anybody else's they feel like it's such a scorpio energy i love it oh, i'm an aqua and scorpios are just like aquas except we are very you know non-emotional like we don't operate from a place of emotion we're more logic even though we're the water bearers so we hold all the emotion and we can do whatever we want with it it doesn't control us yeah we're, we just are not very emotional we're really logical and detached where scorpios unfortunately are just in and submerged in the emotions unless they have other things in their chart to balance them out and so this energy right here just feels like oh, somebody's in love <laughs> i wanted to go say something else about it but somebody in love honey somebody's on their way to you somebody could be coming why am i doing a second deck for you guys because i feel like i need to Someone's on their way to you. They're coming home. See, seven of swords. They're coming home because they don't want nobody to steal what's what's theirs. It's like an awakening of that's mine or that's, oh my God. Or because now they've awakened, they've let go of whatever was holding them back in their old life. And they don't even know maybe what they're going to come into contact in the future. They don't know that they're on their way home somewhere. They just know I'm ending this shit because now I know it's no longer for me. And now they're coming home. But then also for some of you, it's because... Look at that, getting rid of that devil energy. For some of them, it's because they don't want nobody to have you. 
That's such a Scorpio energy. Four of Wands. They want to put a ring on it. Capricorn energy here with the shadow side. But this is restrictions again. Freeing yourself. Somebody here needs to free themselves out of a committed relationship that was holding them back. And the more that they stay in this karmic relationship or karmic job or lesson, whatever it was, the more their future gets stolen from them, if you will. Their blessings get stolen from them. It's also very self sabotage -y. Someone's coming home. Holy shit, the king of swords. He makes a decision, but he also communicates. See the bird? He makes the decision, but he communicates his decision. He, they're going to let you know it. They let you know it. That They let you know it's you. Temperance. This is Sagittarius, but that's also the angel of resurrection. It is also about balance. Angel of patience, too. He can't wait any longer is the point. Queen of Wands. Because he knows that you're on the market. Maybe energetically your heart light got turned on and now it's like you're in, in the market. Yep. They don't want nobody to have you. The lovers could be Gemini. They do not want no one to have you. You're theirs. However, they found out that it's you, and they don't even maybe know it's you for some of you, but they're on their way home because they clear up their shit. I find you when I find me. So now they found them. Guess what now? Now they're going to find you. Whether they've already encountered you or not, it's going to be even more amazing if they've never encountered you because it's kind of like they're on this journey of just feeling like they have to take care of their own shit, and they're going, okay, so I got to take care of me. I'm sorry, it's weird. I have this weird circle on my computer screen. My screen's blank, and there's a circle on it. My computer's been acting a little weird today, like going on by itself. And there's like this weird circle on it right now, and I'm just like... <laughs> One of my messengers or spirit guides, I'm sure, are my angels. You better be. All right, you guys. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Also, follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And if you want to book a reading with me, please be very sure that you check what I offer by looking at the description box below. And then email me what it is you want so I know what to invoice you, okay? All right, Scorpios and Scorpio cross watchers. I'll see you guys later. Love you.